Hey guys, I'm Emily with M Design, and today I'm going to take you on a walkthrough of an email creation that I'm going to do for one of my clients. We have created a beautiful Wix website together. It's super functional. She sells subscription boxes for home decor. She sells t-shirts, awesome like boutique items and delicious pantry items. You should check her out. It's incredible. But she wants to send out an email promoting some upcoming 4th of July sales that she wants to make. So we're going to get started on that today. I'm going to show you how to use Canva to create beautiful Wix emails in the Wix email marketing section of your website. So let's get started. Okay, so we're going to head over to the Wix dashboard. Wix.com. And again, I like to use Google Chrome because it seems to be less buggy when using the Wix editor. And buggy is not something you want to do when you're on a time crunch, right? Or like you just want to get things done. Buggy is not what you want to be dealing with. So we're going to go over to the rustic patch and I'm going to show you a quick design that I've done for her in the past. That's super cute. And that had like over 500 open. So that's a win for us for sure. Okay. Let's go over to marketing and SEO. That's where you're going to find your email marketing. Just gonna mosey on over there whenever it decides to load. I don't know if you can hear it, but my computer sounds like it's about to take off like a jet. <laughs> okay, so here's the most recent email that we sent out. And I just love this email. I think it's super cute. I'm gonna click on it and we're going to look at it in preview mode just to kind of see what we're looking at, what kind of style we wanna do. Okay, so this one is, is four days left to order and it's highlighting their Father's Day gift box. So they've got a lot of really cool like laser engraved stuff for like a barbecue gift set. I love it. I really kind of want one of these salt pinch bowls to be honest. And I've never seen these girl scrapers before. They're so cool. So that is the Canva graphic. And when you click that, it's actually going to go straight to the Rustic Patch page where you can go ahead and order that gift box right now. So let's go back to the email marketing. I'm going to close down these other windows so it doesn't take too much energy. Okay, so let's talk about Wix email marketing in general, okay? Kind of like how it works, what the purpose of it is, what we like about it, what we don't like about it. Okay, so how Wix email marketing works is Number one, it's awesome because it's fully integrated with your website. And on this particular website, we have e-commerce, we have a subscription box set up. Well, let me just show you. It's super cute. And I will give you an idea of what all we have on the website, what we're looking to promote and what all Wix can do. So here we've got our homepage. They sell door hangers, they sell boxes, they sell custom order signs, they sell t-shirts and pantry items. Okay. So really cute stuff. If you go to shop all, we can see everything that they sell. We've got today. We want to be featuring all of this like 4th of July stuff because the 4th of July is coming up soon and we want to sell more product from our store. So we want to highlight this door charm. We want to highlight this like USA t-shirt and this fireworks flip flops, flip flops, flags and freedom. It's so hard for me to say, but we want to highlight these particular items. Okay. So we want to make something on the email that's eye catching. We want to use call to action wording. We want to highlight these particular products. Okay. So let's go back to the Wix dashboard and we'll take what we know now about what we need to do and we will put it into place. So on the email marketing, something that is nice about it is they offer you templates. So something that's not nice about it is I just don't love their templates. So there you go. It's like, it's great, but it's not so great. So let me just show you what I mean. So I click more templates and like, here's their templates. Well, it's like, it would work in a pinch. And I'm not saying that I haven't just used like, this one I think is really pretty. Like we could just use that one and put our own pictures and stuff. But what I like to do is just start from scratch, especially when we need it to be like really customized and cute, right? We're not just sending out like a, hey, here's your coupon email. So when we click on start from scratch, it's going to take us straight to this email editing dashboard. Okay. And it's going to just give you this super basic email to get started. And I love that because I like it when it's simple and clean. Okay. So 
let me just explain a little bit about this email layout and what you're going to have to keep and what you can get rid of. Okay, because we don't want no ugly emails. We want to send cute stuff, right? Right. Okay. So this is your header, and you have to have a header. It's unfortunate, but it's also awesome. So have you ever had a case where you have opened up your email? and you want to sorry i'm trying to decide where i want to move this okay so you've opened up an email and your internet like just kind of freezes and it doesn't want to download the images that the person has sent on the email well this is the header that tells you what's an email and like makes you want to wait a little bit or click to download the images so this is the header that they see no matter what if the image is downloaded or not so it's really important to have that header on there now my complaint about the header is that you really can't pick any cute fonts because the fonts have to stay the same across everybody's computer. So like I have all these really cute fonts on my computer, but like nobody else does, you know, nobody else is going to have printed moments font. like, so you're going to have to just stick with the fonts that they have provided for you for the header. But you know what, we creative people, we make it work, we make it cute. So we're going to make it work. We're going to make it cute. And we're going to say, okay. And then I'm going to change the font size to like 12 because I just want it to be small and kind of discreet and just kind of look like a little bar above because I'm going to have more cute stuff here. Another thing I like to do is I like to do letter spacing and I like to add like a lot of spacing. Now, I like it here, but it might not look good on mobile. In fact, it might like break it down into two lines, that's gonna look terrible. So maybe we'll just do a little bit, just to add a little bit of breathing room between, the, between those letters, okay. So, and we can change like the color over here and stuff. So over here on your left-hand side, you have like your adding elements. And then once you've added elements, then it gives you the customizable options here. So you can work through these to customize your elements here. So if you've done Canva, you got it. If you've done like Shutterfly, you totally know what I'm talking about. You really don't need me to tell you, but I'm going to tell you anyways, because this is a tutorial and I don't want to miss anything that's important. So here's all the different ways that you can edit this text. Another thing you can do that's really important you need to make sure that you're doing all of your emails is linked to your website in them. So when people click something, it takes them to your website. So if you want to select this text, click link, link to thoracicpatch.com. Cool. Why not? We'll just do that. And then I kind of want to change this to like a nice deep cardinal, like rustic 4th of July color. Yeah, that's cool. Ooh, maybe you can do emojis here. Totally. Okay, so I'm going to click on my emojis and I'm going to click on American flags or oh, red, white, and blue. And now I think this red kind of clashes, so we're going to just change it to a straight up black. Okay, so let's move on to making this cute design in Canva, right? We wanna make this adorable. So let's go back to, let's go into Canva. And before I get started, I just kinda of wanna make a game plan for this email. So basically what I wanna do is I wanna make a graphic that's a square in Canva, and I want it to say something like, don't miss out on these amazing 4th of July deals. It's just around the corner. And then I want to do columns below, two columns, and I want to highlight the particular products, okay? So that is what we're going to do. So let's head on over to Canva and, Canva and make this banner image. So the size, it does not have to be perfect on an email, okay? So Wix will take whatever picture you upload and it will resize it to fit. So a lot of times what I'll do, and what I did on that previous Father's Day email is I'll make a long, skinny, tall graphic, right? And then it, you can just like scroll through it like an email. But here I want to do more of like a square graphic on top and the two graphics below. So I'm gonna start with just an Instagram post because that's very similar to the size that I need, okay? I'm going to look for the 4th of July templates and just see what kind of cute things we got to draw from here, okay? So I found a cute template that I want to use. I'm going to click on it and I want to do a little editing to make this a little bit more rustic patch style, okay? So now I want to 
save this and upload it to the email. Tell us what it's going to look like. So I'm going to download it. I'm going to save it as a PNG. And then uh, I'm going to go back over to Wix dashboard and I'm going to click on the photo, change image, and then I'm going to upload it from my downloads. Okay, once it's uploaded, we're going to select it. We're going to add it to the page. Cute. Okay. Then we are going to click apply. Now, I would love to use like a little header here, a heading that says like, check out, don't miss out on these cute products to make your 4th of July extra special or something like that. I'm going to make that just a little bit bigger because it's more of like a heading. Okay, cute, apply. So here I wanna highlight that cute t-shirt, right? So I'm going to change the image and then I wanna add the link to this t-shirt specifically. So if somebody clicks on this t-shirt, they can go ahead and go buy it. So you need to go get the link for that t-shirt by going to shop apparel and then going to this freedom 1776 t-shirt. And then I just grab the URL from there then I head over to the dashboard, add a link, paste the URL in there, click apply. Cool. So that picture now links. Now I do want to add maybe a little bit of text here to make that centered. And then I want to make this button say more info or, or like order now change the design to like black because that just looks nice. And then the content, I also want that to go to the t-shirt, okay? So those are a few ways that, or a few things that we have in stock online. And then what I'd like to do is I'd like to make a cute title or like cute image highlighting the pantry items that we have in stock too, that people can use in their celebrations because we know that celebrations are all about the food, right? So we have a lot of awesome things that would be delicious, both in store and online. So I'm going to make just a little graphic for that in Canva as well. So we're gonna go back to our Independence Day and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to copy this page. I'm going to, well, you can see what I'm gonna do. Okay, so then I want to add this one next and there's going to be no link for this one because it doesn't it's shop online now. And then I'm going to add one more image and it's going to be this save coupon add to page. And now, as you can see, this is like a lot of white space. So what I'm going to do is hit apply, hover over it, click crop, and then I'm going to shorten up that to just this little piece right here so that it fits perfectly. Okay, so we're going to remove that and then we're going to change this to shop all items online. And then we're just going to make it go to the domesticpatch.com slash shop. Change the design to black so it matches everything else. And I think that we're good to test this thing out. So this is so much cuter than their designs, right? I just love it. Okay, so we're going to want to make sure that we have all of our links correct, right? So let's hit preview and test. And it's going to take you to a quick preview page. And you're going to test out all of these links and make sure that they're correct because if they're not you cannot switch them later okay so that's where we wanted that to go let's click here make sure this goes to the 1776 t-shirt totally does check with that make sure it goes to the door charm totally does okay and shop all items online so we're going to do it with the right a right one okay so it's very important to make sure that all of your links check out and then if you want to, if you want to send this to somebody and see how it looks. Oh, speaking of which, check it in mobile here. See 
how this doesn't line up quite right. It looks weird. So I just take off those hearts now. They're like kind of dorky. So I'm gonna go back to editing and I'm gonna take off those hearts, even though I love them, they just don't look good on mobile. And honestly, if it doesn't look good on mobile, it's not worth doing because we all know that we just check it on our phones, right? Hit apply, hit preview and test again, check it out on mobile. That looks way more clean, doesn't it? Yep. Okay, so I want to send this as a link to my client, make sure she likes exactly how it looks. Okay, so I'm going to click view in browser. There are two ways you can send this as a test. So you can send a test email, which I'm going to do right now. Okay, and then if I want to send it like just a link to this email, you click view in browser. And then this is a shareable link that you can just send to anybody. So if I copy this link, and if I share it via text or via airdrop to like my phone, I can actually just text it to my client as a link in iMessage and show her what it looks like. Okay, so that's kind of cool. And when we think that we're done, we're gonna go back to editing and we're going to select next. So from here, you can either schedule or send right away. So I am going to send to all of my people next. And then I'm going to make sure my subject line is correct, the from name, the reply to email, and then I'm gonna either schedule or send now. So that is really all you need to do to use Canva to make your Wix emails look really good, okay? So before I let you go, I do want to show you a couple other emails that I've created in Canva to show you just a little bit more of what you'd be capable of. So this is just a giant Canva graphic that's long and skinny. So as you can see, she has like a little note here. She's got a cute recipe here and then a little just right up at the end. Okay. So there's really no call to action from this email. She wanted to provide something that was more of just like a a help for her for her followers you know something that was just kind of fun for them like hey here's a cool recipe this is one that i love because i just love the paintbrush but this is a painting party email from the rustic patch again i kind of started out with a template in camera but i kind of just made it my own but we've got ready for a painting party and then these are links so these are just some of the emails that I've created that are super fun and hopefully very engaging and help clients really like reach out and be fun in their emails without having to use a third party like MailChimp or um, Constant Contact or something like that. And those are not bad, like those are good systems, but to me, it's all about keeping it really simple. Yes, there's great systems out there, but does it make more work for you? Yes, well then just stick with Wix. Just use Wix. You can create beautiful emails just like this in Wix using Canva, being creative, and then it actually makes you like a whole lot simpler. Another thing is you can see, you can keep track of your customers in Wix that have purchased things and what emails they've opened, et cetera. So it, it really just kind of is like this collaborative view of all of your customers. So you don't have to like make a bunch of apps talk to each other. So that is a little sneak peek into how I use Canva to make your Wix emails look really, really good. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment below. I'm going to also do some videos on how to use Canva to make your web graphics look amazing. So stay tuned for those as well. Thanks so much.